guys, it's Sonya Miller and welcome back to my channel, to my daily vlog and get a peek into what I'm working on today. As usual, I'm painting somebody else's junk to turn into my treasure. I can't wait to show you what I found on one of my recent junk and travels. Look, a beautiful set of candle holders. I guess these would be like sconces that you would put up on your wall with candle holders and I paid, look at that, look at that beautiful yellow orange clearance tag right there got these for a dollar a piece. And I got two of them. Remember, when you see things in set, especially things that are old, grab them because you know what? It's surprising they didn't get broken up or broken. Guess what, guys? They're not even like real metal. They're absolutely just plastic. I'm gonna use my Junk Monkey Chucky style paint, which sticks to pretty much anything under the sun. So I really don't care what this is made of. All I know is I love the design of it. Anybody else out there love vintage flair, just love just love old time-worn antique kind of looks. And this reminds me very of something that would be like very Victorian style. You know, it's got lots of scrolls and just curves. She's very curvaceous flowers. It's a very feminine piece. And I use the color, one of our new colors in our spring collection line. This is a beautiful, creamy, yellow, warm, gorgeous feeling kind of paint. Chevy chip brush. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy fun. Take one last look at these suckers, these potential beauties, because they're not gonna look like this for long. Put a little bit of our buttercream onto our brush, and now we're gonna do the dry brush effect. You got it. This is where we don't put a whole lot on our brush. We use a shabby chip brush. And do you see just how beautiful immediately that looks? So right now you have picture frames around your house. You might have decor sitting on your table, around your end tables. Maybe this is a lamp base. You got something right now that if, I promise that if you just put a little bit of paint on your brush and uh, just did a dry brush, you're totally changing the look of it. And these are the kind of flips I love because you can sit down. Like, you know, when you're at a junk store, people walk by this stuff because they're like, what in the world are you gonna do with that? Because they're leaving it there for me. And then I'm gonna come, I'm gonna put some paint on it just like that. And guess what? This will sell so quickly because it's beautiful. Buttercream is a beautiful color when you're doing um, shabby chic style. Because you can see if you find a brownie frowny dresser and you just put this beautiful color over the top of it, beautiful. Gorgeous, matches like, matches like pretty much anything. It's a timeless color. And against a dark background, that gold brown, it just pops. You just see such contrast. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Now, if I wanted to make these pop even more, I tell you guys on here when I do these vlogs and share tips with you when it comes to designing, that you could make them feel even bigger than what they are, a little more meatier, a little more chunkier and heavier than what they are, um, if you were to go ahead and say, for example, you found a piece of pine wood to put behind it or a piece of cedar wood or whatever you could find at the, you know, the junk hardware store, put, paint the actual wooden block, attach this on the top of it, you know, a nice long piece, put your candle in it, and then it's gonna make your uh, candle holders feel a whole lot more chunky because you've just layered with them. And no, I do not have to seal. Sealing would be completely optional. Our paint, our chalky style paint is not going to fall off. It's gonna stay right there. If this was something that we were eating off that would get a lot of use, then I might consider putting a little bit of our banana peel poly on the top of it. But this is just purely decorative. It's gonna look beautiful. It's not gonna get touched a lot. It's gonna be on the wall and it's perfect just the way it is. I'm not somebody who's going to take days to finish one piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanna get in there, get it done, get it finished, move it into place, put my decorations on it, and just enjoy it. And so, this was a super quick flip, and I hope it's given you guys lots of inspiration. So I want you right now to eyeball something. Eyeball something that you're over, you're sick and tired of, you're tired of looking at it, you need a new change, and you know what? You don't wanna spend a fortune, my friend some paint on it and say it with me the power of paint is amazing we will be back again tomorrow with another vlog with another project what will we get into who knows if you haven't already subscribed to my channel be sure to subscribe give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below let me ask you this if you tried the dry brush technique before are you like me and just love the paint pretty much every single day or any day that you can all right i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye Please.